Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the fairy coin mother, Sinquanta Cox Smith of www.sinquantacoxsmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast. It's your girl, Sinquanta Cox Smith. Smile for me. Today, I want to talk about social media smoke and mirrors. Y'all already know from the title, I'm going to get into some shit, (laughs) but I really want to have an open and honest conversation. There are a lot of smoke and mirrors on social media. And before I dive deep into this conversation, I want y'all to know that this is my opinion and I'm going to stick beside it. All right. Don't try to make something more than what it is. And I am an observer of things, okay? I see stuff. Off riff, people really don't show you nitty gritty, right? They don't show you the real deal. People consistently go against the grain for a money grab. It's quick and it's easy. That's bar one. With popularity, you can slap your name on anything, say you made it, and sell it for a high-end price. People will gravitate towards it. People can slap their names on things, and they don't do their own due diligence. Let me find out about this manufacturer. Let me do a little bit more research. Is what I'm doing offensive to another community? We have to be better. We can't just go with, hey, I found such and such on social media. They say they could pop this on a t-shirt for me on a few mugs. You need to know what you're putting your name on. Now, I know we've seen so many different things uncovered years ago. We would all say, yes, Master P is the bomb. He's doing it. He's building this empire. He's have his hand in this or that. Romeo went on social media to let us know that, hey, I ain't making no funds. The coins ain't coin. Because I'm a follower of my father. I look up to him. I'm going to do what he says. Of course, my dad, he got the best interest for our family until you wake up and you realize that, okay, smoke and mirrors. I know for him, he probably had to put his pride aside to say, I, enough is enough. And how did his father respond? He responded by responding on social media with a cereal box on the stairs doing some dry advertisement. When that connection was made, I said, okay, yeah, something ain't right. And also, if you don't follow a lot of stuff on social media, I love social media for entertainment. I can laugh all day on TikTok, Reels, Facebook, everything. I can really laugh. And I can honestly say that some of you guys really make my ass itch. You make my left titty itch. Y'all just be, ooh, y'all sickening. If you don't follow social media, you haven't seen things about scammers you haven't seen influencers arguing or and i'd be like just like y'all be on facebook groups or in the comment section of viral things and y'all read all the comments i read all the comments all the receipts because one what is happening what is unfolding has some truth in it especially if someone comes with receipts that brings me to my next example a brand called girl ceo which is how do i say it supposed to be ronnie brown's company. If you know all about Atlanta, Atlanta scammers, Atlanta hustlers, Atlanta influencers, whatever, you know or heard of Maddie J. Maddie J created the brand in a box, Girl CEO. And I guess, I'm assuming Ronnie bought it. Let's say she bought it. Or maybe, you know, this was his first time doing it. So they tested it out together and he created it with her in mind. Or maybe she saw it taken off and she's like, oh, I want to buy that. However the situation unfolded, it it unfolded. I know of this story because almost 10 years ago, Maddie J had a Trello board. He was on Twitter letting us know, not even on Twitter, there was a, what was the video app called that we used to be on every day and people were going live. Oh my gosh, it's like gone. It's like in the wind now. Nobody mentions it anymore. But he was on there. I have that still, I, if it's still available, I have it somewhere, that Trello board, where he shows us step-by-step the case study of setting up girl CEO. It has that athlete rapper CEO shirt with like the crosses going out of it. Whatever the case may be, it became Ronnie's brand. Matter of fact, she still uses that name till this day and also has a podcast called Girl CEO. His gripe was... Okay, you're truly acting like I wasn't a part of this when obviously I have this case study. People know it was my brand in a box. 
Her thing is, why are you telling people? Why is this still coming up? But like, honestly and truly, I think it's only still coming up and bothering her because there's new people who thought she got it out the mud. <laughs> okay. Currently when Maddie no longer worked for free in the business, as far as like running the ad and the store and the background and things like that, the store or the brand started to fail. Therefore, after that, you know, she had to pivot. She has like some tea or some other stuff going on, but of course she had to pivot. Now I've seen her maneuver and I have another point about this. I've seen her maneuver from thing to thing. And I can't say for sure if it has been successful if you get where I'm going with this. I want us to just open our eyes and realize that if stories or if things are continuously uncovered or being said, now they all can't be lies, can they? It gotta be some truth in there someplace, right? Gotta be some truth. Somebody gotta be telling the truth, especially when it comes to receipt. Now, both people may be wrong in the instance of how things uncovered, but there is some truth to it because I've seen it with my own eyes. This is why reading is fundamental, friends. And y'all love to be in the shade room comments. Like, I'm not reading all that. That's too long. Some of y'all need to sit the fuck down and read. That goes to show that so many people have pretty branding that it's like, woo, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want it. And they can consistently reinvent themselves from one thing to the next, one thing to the next. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying last time. When you first start off at something, your name is tied to that brand, okay? And this is what we know you for. Then when you start to tie yourself to this and this and this and this, and then we all confuse, but consistently, th this is different from evolving and being a shapeshifter. <laughs> Okay, being a little shape shifter because what are you chasing after that you have to consistently change that much? Like sometimes it be completely left field where I see somebody doing something. I'm sorry, y'all, but this is as an example, so don't come for me. So Courtney with the main choice. That's what we knew her for. Her long hair, her purple brand, Tiana Taylor was promoting it, and then now sis selling coffee. Girl. <laughs> What? And y'all probably are listening to this and don't know who these people are, but just Google. That's all I'm gonna say, Google. But yeah, when people reinvent themselves, my people, we are gullible. Cause we go out there and be like, oh my gosh, look what she's doing now. She is so rich. Look how she can just switch it up. She must be doing good. Other businesses must be doing good and she got somebody else running it. Now she can start something else and she can live all her dreams. Smoke and mirrors. Period. My people, I need us to stop being so gullible. Stop me to be what you see on social media. I had to really step back and realize I don't want a cult following. I want people who are going to hold me accountable. I want people who are going to tell me the truth. I don't want yes men around me. I want people around me who are going to challenge me to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday. Because always and at the same time, I'm going to be 100% myself. And that's the only way to be. Like my shirt says, I'm doper offline. I'm going to have a good time. All right? I'm going to act a fool. I'm going to say some inappropriate things. And I'm going to twerk. Best believe I'm going to twerk. <laughs> Don't do that, sweetheart. Don't do it. Don't watch me too hard. When you watch people, you watch to learn and apply it to what you already have going on. You don't watch it to do exactly what they got going on. Let that summer in your system. That bar alone is gonna tell you if you are meant to be a creative or an entrepreneur. And that goes for brands too. Oh baby, they watching. They watching. They watching and they're not paying. They're not paying. They see what you're doing. They see that it works. And now they have their own content creators who are now also our peers who are in the same space, right? Now we rubbing knuckles and, and shoulders with the content creators who are in the space, who are running the social media accounts of the brands that we talk about. Brands have money now to promote more on social media. They see where TikTok is going. They see where reels are going. They see where shorts are going. They see what us as content creators have done with our YouTube channels and they want that for their brand. How else do you get the inside tea on how I grew my YouTube following, how I do well on Instagram, how I do well on Prenderment? Interview me. 
do a collab with me. Build a relationship with me. And I'm not mad at it because at the same time, it benefits me too. But when you start to see something super specific to what you do and how you do it, know that they was watching. And they got it from you. They got it from you. You helped them out. But for free. Because you already did your part with your collab. You know, you interact a little bit with them. So now I ain't got to pay y'all. Y'all cool. We like this. <laughs> and I just want y'all to know that having no integrity is worldwide. It's international. And what a brand will never do is admit that. <laughs> but what I do is I try my best to consistently teach, preach, and then curse you the fuck out. But that's me. And I want y'all to remember to celebrate when you make five cents and when you make $500. I want you to celebrate when you make $5,000 or $50. I'm gonna be the same person whether I make whatever. And what I'm gonna tell you is I'm a regular person just like you. You are not going to see me get a BMW that I can't pay for, buy a Gucci bag that's real. <laughs> I'm gonna fly Southwest but never spirit. My goal is to have longevity and I'm gonna say it over and over and over again till someone gets it. If I get it too fast, then what was the lesson learned? Where was the knowledge that came when I went straight to number one? Oh my gosh, everything is being thrown at me. What do I do? When you get it so fast, now you gotta rely on other people to tell you what to do. But when you move at your own pace and you grow and you learn and you get the knowledge, you unlock a new level every step of the way. That makes you tougher. That makes you stronger. Everybody wants it fast, but can you sustain it? I just realized that I had so much more to say, but I think I wanna leave a little bit, maybe for a Smoke and Mirrors part two. I'm gonna skip through some of this content that I do have, and I'm gonna end with this. Be careful of who you follow, okay? Be mindful, have discernment. Always strive to be a good person. Okay? Because at this point, all oh, y'all need to follow Jesus. Until next time. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Cinquanta Cox Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.